TSX. Whoa, it's so hot in here. Dark color, black interior, Florida. Oof. This thing's just an oven. I'm just grabbing some of this AC for the moment. It's so hot. And yeah, let's just lower it down. There we go. Well, this is a 2008 Acura TSX with 41,000 miles. You can see this one is the version with the nav. Let's get around and critique the interior. Dashboard is all soft to the touch. Right up above, even over the instrument cluster. Down below it does harden up. You have uh, the air glove compartment. Like I mentioned before, you have your nav right there. You can see the map right there. Oh, no disc. Oh well. Anyways, here's your radio. In dash six disc, you have your dual zone climate controls. You can see the controls there. Though you do control that right on the screen right there, like so, and it's touch screen. You can see how I adjusted. I have to push down hard though. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. A moment ago, it didn't want to work. You have another little compartment here, another compartment down below. Not an ashtray. I love how they made it in red so that you would just notice that it's not an ashtray. But the big capitalized letters, not an ashtray. You hear that, smokers? Don't ever use that as an ashtray. You have the power outlet, seat heaters, which here in Florida you will never use. You have your dual cup holders. Hmm. This could have been better, better finished right there. Kind of loosely done right there. So that's pretty much the only thing I see in this car that could have been better made. I don't know if they changed that in the newer TSX. This car does have a 5-speed auto with manual shift mode. You can see, the shifter knob comes right off. Here you have your center console. You can see it has auxiliary and a power outlet. It is nicely soft. It is nicely soft and I love how it's nicely padded with the exposed stitching. The steering wheel is nice and thick. I like how it gets thicker right here where you would traditionally grip it. You have hands-free controls, cruise control, radio controls and info, like distance to empty, trip computer, what have you. Door panel, soft to the touch. Armrest, nicely soft, everything nicely padded. Down below it does harden right up. Do you have your power windows, power locks, window lock, power mirrors with heated mirrors too, memory seating. Above you have your mirror and its vanity light and your holder for the sunglasses, lighting fixtures, universal garage door opener, on and off switch for the interior lighting so this way the lights will come on once you open the doors. And the passenger side also has its mirror and vanity light. Let me show you the sunroof which it is controlled down here. All traditionally Honda always placed that switch there. Vehicle stability control. Let's take a look at the engine. I expect it to be the typical 2.4 VTEC, IVTEC. Well, let me look at the back seat first. Which, there's really not much to complain about. Room is quite decent. Materials follow through into the back seat, nothing changes. You have your armrest with its cup holders, and I love how they place the cup holders in front and not in the center. So you have nice room for your elbow, and it's nice and plush. Seats do fold down, you can see how they're divided.
you have your CD, you have your DVD ROM drive right there. You can see right there. And the seats do fold down, you just pull these straps. And the seats, you just push them down and they'll just tumble forward. You have your spare tire, you can see all the tools and the jack. Trunk isn't too small, it's actually a decent, about average size. I can mention the 2.4 liter IV tech four cylinder. But I do like this generation TSX. So let's get to revving this one. Well, let's do an exhaust shot of this one. 